More than six million drivers get into accidents which injure three million people annually. The effects of drink driving, speeding, the use of mobile phones, they're all contributing factors. And of course, once someone has been injured in an accident, the effects on their friends, their family, their work is phenomenal. So I'm here today on the streets of Birmingham to talk to people who have been unlucky enough to be involved in road traffic accidents and to see just how they coped with the aftermath. I'm joined today with Darren who has been involved in a couple of car accidents. Um, one of them in particular um, is the one he's going to talk to us about. It was a few years ago, is that right? That's correct. Right. Darren, can you tell us what happened to you? Yeah, I was uh, going down a, a busy Birmingham road um, with three friends in a car. I wasn't driving, actually. And we came to a crossroads, and the lights were with us, in favour of us, and a car came from our, our left-hand side, got straight across us, hit the front left side of the car, and ended up putting three of us in hospital. Three of you? Yes. So what happened once you got to hospital? How long did you have to stay in hospital for? Um, I didn't stay that long, to be honest, but um, the driver was in a considerable period of time, something, something like 24 hours. Really? Yeah. So what injuries did you sustain? Um, I had two sprained I don't know, it was elbows or shoulders, um, considerable cuts to the face and a, a bit of concussion. The driver had considerably more cuts, um, he had chest pains, I think he had a couple of broken ribs. Um, it was a bit nasty, but it could have, been, it could have been an awful lot worse, I suppose. Of course. Now, did any of you claim after the accident? Um, the driver claimed. The driver claimed? I don't know the details, to be honest. Right. So you, do, you, you couldn't say how long it took him to, from sort of recovering and claiming the money and, and the process it took? I know he had a lot of trouble um, for two reasons, mainly because of his age, because he was quite young at the time. Right. And. Uh, the insurance company were not happy about the car. It was a Triumph Herald. It was an old car, but it was, right. a, it was a vintage rather than a wreck, if you know what I mean. Oh, OK, OK, I understand. So you didn't claim, no. the driver claimed, and the other person, he didn't claim either. I'm not sure about the other person. You're not sure. Did it leave you sort of feeling wary about getting in a car again? Or did you sort of think, oh, this is an accident, it happens a lot, you know? Um, both, really. I did think, yes, it's an accident, it happens a lot. Of course. But he put me off driving. I didn't actually take lessons myself for over a decade. Oh really? Yeah. So would you say it almost left you sort of psychologically damaged? It's, it's a bit of a strong word, <laughs> I know, but so almost, yes. you know, yes. slightly traumatised? Yes. Because it is a nasty experience? Without a doubt. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much for joining us, Darren. Okay. Thank you. This is Jo, and she was in a crash, but she was driving her boyfriend's car. Uh-oh. <laughs> jo, can you tell us a little bit about what happened? Yes. Um, I was driving my boyfriend's car that we just picked up from the garage so I wasn't actually insured on it and I was going down the country lane about 40 miles an hour and then this car pulled out of nowhere and bang into the side of our car. So you hit the car? No, his, their car came into the front of ours. Oh, his car He was pulling out and pulled out into me. But you weren't insured? No. So what happened? Well, the man was actually Right. He was quite scared about the whole thing because he was on his phone. That's how the crash happened. Oh, okay. So I used that against him, and I, and so he like agreed to pay off our car as long as we didn't say that he was on his phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you didn't actually have to go through lawyers or through solicitors no. or anything like that. No, no. You settled it between yourselves yeah. because he didn't. Because he felt bad because it was his fault the crash anyway because he was on his phone. So he literally pulled out without looking. Right. So I was just like, oh my god. So how easy was it to to get money from this guy for for um, the crash? Not very. Like my dad got involved, and we well the man spoke to my dad, and well. He kind of settled it on the phone with him, right? Because we took each other's details. Was it a long and drawn-out process, or, uh, or was it was it fairly easy? No, it easy? was more settled straight away because the man was like quite scared, quite nervous. And about because the whole he knew that it yeah. was his fault. Yeah, and he, he was on his mobile phone, uh, and he pulled out without looking. So, so since your crash, have you been more wary about? about driving and yeah well now I drive with insurance now you drive with insurance <laughs> no I was insured on my car but just not on my boyfriend's car you see right so I was insured on my own car but I was just picking it up from the garage literally didn't think anything would happen but it did so there's a lesson for everyone be insured no matter <laughs> whose car you're driving <laughs> Joe, thank you so much <laughs> for joining you. us thank you <laughs>